The IAFF and our partners are developing an easy to use GIS based tool known as FireCares, the Community Assessment Response Evaluation System. FireCares will provide real time information so that our affiliates can show decision makers the risks firefighters and the public face. Fire Cares is a tool that determines what your community risk level is and then aligns it with the resources needed to handle fire and EMS type situations. Fire Cares depends on accurate fire data reporting. And here's where firefighters can help themselves. Using a software designed by firefighters for firefighters. This new system is called Inforce the National Fire Operations Reporting System. The Enforce system will feed new response information into the fire care system. And when fully developed, Enforce will allow firefighters to easily enter their personal response information on their mobile devices. The information entered then creates a retrievable record of events such as exposure to cancer-causing toxic materials or other health and safety risks and makes it easier to build a career health record. You know, I doubt you're gonna find a fire station in the country where everybody's sitting around talking about data. It would surprise me if you found one. It was certainly never a fire station I worked at, but we better find more fire chief's offices and union halls talking about effective data, or we're gonna struggle. Over the coming months, Fire service leaders from 10 metropolitan areas are participating in a pilot initiative to help provide feedback on how to make these applications even more dynamic, practical, and user-friendly. Both fire department chiefs and union leaders are actively engaged in this test drive of new applications. The decision makers, they look at data. They want hard numbers to support our staffing needs, our deployment needs. This system will provide that data we're all looking for. One, it will help us when we go to the bargaining table. It will help the administration when we go to the budget table, because uh, now we're able to justify the monies that we're asking for, show them how it impacts the neighborhoods that the council members live in. We can show them, here's your response times, here's why your coverage is lacking, uh, and this is how we can make it better. At the end of the day, we're talking about reducing injuries and deaths, civilian injuries and deaths, firefighter injuries and deaths, and property loss. And any firefighter who doesn't feel like those are their top priorities, they're on the wrong job. The goal is to have both these applications up and running in 100 smaller departments and 25 major metropolitan departments by the end of 2016, providing the critical information that will keep our members and their communities safe and healthy.